Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rechachredash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth, your eyes from Yahweh. Back at it again with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to say this, man. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is, is being very, 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 very nice to Israel right now, man. Okay, if you can't see that through the spirit, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. But Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is being very, very nice to Israel right now, man. Okay, because it's a lot of things that he could be bringing, bringing, uh, uh, bringing to the light. A lot of judgments, a lot of things that he could be doing right now. But Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is being very, very nice and humble and, and compassionate to Israel, man. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to let you know why. Okay, I'm just going to get straight to the point, man. And furthermore, there, there isn't really too much fear of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, but without further ado, let me stop running my mouth and let's let this Bible talk. Because Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is being very nice to Israel right now, man. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8. I'm going to read verses 11 and 13 and it reads this. Because sentence... Against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's right, man. Okay, because, you know, back in the day, man, when, when, when we went off and did something, we would get judged right then and there. Okay, and I'm going to back that up with, a, you know, a scripture, man. You know, we would get judged right then and there. But, you know, he's giving you Jake's time to repent, time to acknowledge your transgressions, your iniquities, and to humble down. Okay, so like I said, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is being very, very nice to Israel right now. Verse 12, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with him. <clears throat> yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. Okay, so the ones, the only people that's, that's really truly Okay, gonna fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the remnant, the elect man. That's period. That's it, man. Okay. Verse 13. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So why do you think the wicked of our people are being judged? Okay, and like I said, they're not being judged quickly for everything that they're doing, man. Okay? They're not being judged swiftly right now. Like I said, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is giving them time to acknowledge what they've done. And he already knows what they're gonna do, because you know he created everything. He 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 created every spirit, so he knows what everybody's gonna do. Okay? But it's called balance though. Okay? But like I said, Yahweh Hashem is being very, very uh, 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 compassionate, very nice, man. Matter of fact, let me prove that point. Let me let me show you what he did uh, back in the day. To if if you if you just literally disobeyed what he said, just what he said, what he told you to do, man. All right, this is First Kings, <clears throat> chapter thirteen, and I'm gonna start off at verse <clears throat> Salakia. Let's start off at verse 16, but let me highlight all this real quick so you can see it. <clears throat> so like you. All right, this is uh, 1 Kings chapter 13, starting off at verse 16, and it reads this. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. And you can go back and start from verse 1 and read down. I'm just getting straight to the point. Verse 17, for it was said to me by the word, for it was said to me by the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, thou shalt not, so like you, thou shalt eat no bread 
nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. He said unto him, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh told a prophet of Judah to not eat, drink, or go back the same way he came in. He told him to go deliver the message and keep it moving. Verse 18, he said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, saying, bring, saying, bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai told this uh, uh, Judite something directly. And so if Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai wanted something to be changed, he would tell him directly, man. So the dude lied to him. So we're going to keep on reading on verse 19. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drink water. So he was disobedient to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He didn't follow orders, man. Let's keep on reading. Verse 20. And it came to pass as they sat at the table that the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai came on to the prophet that brought him back. So now the actual word came, came uh, to, to that dude. That that prophet that lied to the other prophet, the actual word came to him now. Okay, because the dude transgressed Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's words. He was disobedient. He did he didn't obey what he told her to do. Verse twenty one, and he cried unto the man of the Most High, that came from Judah, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and has not kept the commandment which Yahweh thy power commanded thee, but camest back and has eaten bread and drank water in the place of the which Yahweh did say to thee, eat no bread and drink no water. Thy carcass shall not come on to the sepulcher of thy fathers. And it came to pass after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk <clears throat> That he saddled for him the ass to wit for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, okay, and when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him. And his carcass was cast in the way and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass. So he got judgment just like just like that. Judgment came for him just like that, man. And that's why I said Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is being very uh, 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 patient, very uh, 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 nice, man, humble, sincere, compassionate. Because look how this man just got, got judgment in, within that same hour that he disobeyed Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the same day. Verse 24 again, and when he was gone, a lion met him by the way and slew him and his carcass was cast into the way and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass and behold, men passed by and saw the carcass cast in the way and the lion stood by the carcass and they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, it is the man of the Most High who was disobedient unto the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Therefore, Yahweh have delivered him unto the lion, which have torn him and slain him according to the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which he spake. So you better trust and believe, man. The day is going to come when Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to be nice no more, man. And the doors of repentance are going to be closed and it's going to be nothing but judgment upon the earth, man. So if you don't want to fear, you're going to fear in that day. But by then, it will be too late. If you're not part of the uh, uh, the predestinated uh, uh, spirits to be saved, then it's a wrap for you, man. But let's get this and close out right here. Let, let's see why you should figure out about Shem Yahweh Shai. I wish we could make a whole lesson out of that, but I want to go to these uh, just one set of scriptures and we're going to close out there. So this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Chapter 34, and let's read verses 13 to 17, and it reads this. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall live, for their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall not fear nor be afraid, for he 
is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that feareth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to whom doth he look, or who is his strength? Because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai controls all. He created all. He controls all. So that's who that's who you need to fear, man. Period, man. We, we, you need not to fear none of these heathens, Esau, Edom, none of these two-third wicked, wicked niggas. You only need to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Verse 16. For the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat, and a cover, and a cover from the sun at noon. A preservation from stumbling and in, and in help from falling. He raiseth up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessings. So look, man. Keep on thinking it's sweet, man. Keep on thinking your how about Shimmy Yahusha going to keep on not, not uh doing nothing, not judging you jakes left and right, man. Because back in the, like we read back in our first Kings, man, chapter 13, man. You got he as soon as you disobeyed his his commandment for him telling you for him telling you to go speak a, a word to somebody and, and to do something for 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 you doing that man you got judged quick swiftly man so keep on thinking stuff is sweet man your by Shim Yahu Shah is done is done a, a sit back sitting back and letting everything occur letting letting everything just keep on going on man okay he's gonna stop being nice man and, and, and trust and believe it's it's already happening man. Okay, so if you ain't going to fear right now, you're going to fear in that day. You're going to fear in the day of uh, all-out judgment, man. So, Adonwan Ratazah, hoping I pray this is edifying to the hopeful elect. So, with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.